All right, as you can see in the README, technically our next topic should be use effect cleanup function. However, we'll actually skip this and the following use effect topic and come back to them once we're done with conditional rendering. If you're wondering why are we hopping like that, simply because use effect cleanup function is somewhat tricky topic. So in this course iteration, I decided to use different example in the hopes that it will help students to understand the main concepts better. And since in the example, we're going to toggle component, we first need to cover conditional rendering. Yes, I also prefer to cover everything step by step, essentially in order. But in this case, I did not see any other option. So again, let me repeat, we will skip use effect cleanup function for now and come back to it once we're done with our next main topic, conditional rendering.